Hi, this is Derek Daly, and this is my S7 assignment video. Here is our completed circuit, and the circuit is a sequence counter, which counts between the numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7, either up or down, with the use of the S switch. So, as we can see, uh, S counts up if it's high, counts down if it's low, and then in our state diagram, we have our four states, 2, 3, 5, and 7, which you could see the interactions between each value of s, so there it is. And then here's our next date table. Uh, we have a bunch of don't care conditions on this one. Um, so yeah, I've put x's in there for that, uh, for each of the, the decimal values in between that aren't represented. Um, and yeah, I separated it by lows and highs for the switch just to make it easier to read. And I stated previously we're using JK flip-flops, so there's that transition table, which is pretty handy. And then from there, we derive our K maps, which help us derive our equations. Here they are. So, now that we've seen all this, let's go back to our completed circuit. Now we're going to start by cycling up. Turn on that auto tick, and you can see it just cycled through. Beautiful. So yeah, now we're counting down. All right. Perfect. Now we're going to go up. Beautiful, beautiful. So there it is. Um, and yeah, it, it can't easily be reinitialized with reset ports uh, because easily would mean that we'd just be hooking it up and it would be resetting to zero. But zero isn't a value in this sequence, which is what we want. So we would have to set it up so where maybe it would go start at like uh, the state where two or three, or four, you know, so on and so forth. So, and yeah, the application for con uh, controlling counter modes is very massive, uh, very important to understand because, you know, like maybe a sequence could represent a function or like a real life object. Uh, very important in general um, to cycle through things. So, yep, there it is. Thank you very much.